Hello, it's good to be with you again for our collective worship. We meet in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you. Um, I've been thinking this week about heroes. Now there are all sorts of heroes that you might come across. There are superheroes and I wonder which is your favourite superhero. There are lots of superheroes, aren't there? These are the ones that I remember from when I was growing up. Um, maybe you like Batman? Um, I like Batman, he's quite good. Um, or what about uh, Wonder Woman? Does anybody like Wonder Woman? That's an old picture. That's how I remember Wonder Woman. Um, or then perhaps there's uh, one of the more famous ones, the most famous one in fact, I think, Superman. I like Superman. Uh, I loved the Superman movies when I was growing up. And then also there's, uh, oh, put her back. Um, let's have a look at Batgirl. Look, she's got her phone there. Uh, maybe she's taking a selfie or something. Um, so there are all kinds of superheroes. Let me just knock them off. They're distracting me. Um, the thing about superheroes is that each of them has at least one special power, don't they? Maybe they can fly. Maybe they're super strong or their senses are really, really good. Maybe they can shoot out webs from their hands like Spider-Man or ice or water or something like that. But you know, the one thing that they all have in common, every single one of them, is that they stand up for what is right. They look after people who are in trouble. And people can trust them to always do the right thing. And you know, that brings us back to the theme that we've been discussing over the last few weeks in our collective worship, the theme of trust. Heroes are the people in our lives who we can trust. The people we can trust to look after us and to do what is right. And I wonder if you know any real life heroes, because those superheroes are great, but they're pretend, aren't they? Um, the reality is that there are some people in our lives who are heroes to us. Uh, do you know people who you can always trust, who will always look after you, and the people who will stand up for what is right? I wonder if there are people you know of in our wider communities who we might see as heroes. Now, these are really important questions and you need to get thinking about who your heroes are because on the August bank holiday, towards the end of August, there's going to be a scarecrow festival in Corston, uh, which is going to be very exciting. And this year, our theme is heroes. So you need to get busy thinking about what heroes you could make into a scarecrow. You could make your favourite Marvel or DC superhero into a scarecrow. That would be good. You may be able to think of a hero in our village. Somebody who lives near you who is a hero to you. And that would be fantastic too. It might be somebody who works for the NHS or who uh, works for the fire service or the ambulance service or the police might be one of our key workers who's looked after us through lockdown. Somebody who's kept a local business going even when it was really difficult. Maybe it could even be one of your teachers or your parents or maybe your brother or your sister. It can be anybody who has been a hero to you. So you need to get thinking really, really hard over the next few weeks and start being creative. Start stockpiling the big cardboard boxes that your deliveries come in and things like that and start to think about how you could make your own hero uh, scarecrow in your garden on the August bank holiday. Now, there will be more information nearer the time about how you enter the competition, uh, about uh, the competition for best scarecrow. Um, and also you'll be able to get your scarecrow on a map. So if people come to have a look at the scarecrows, they can find out where your scarecrow is. Now, as we continue to think about our heroes and who we might make into a scarecrow, let's just take a minute to be still and just to think about who those heroes might be and why it is that they are heroes to us. And then after you've had a think for a minute, um, I will lead us in some prayer. So if it helps to close your eyes and to put your hands together, then please do that. And I'll lead us in a prayer and then we'll join together in our school prayer. 
Almighty God, we thank you for all the heroes in our lives, for the people we can depend on and trust, for the people who look after us and stand up for what's right. Help us to learn from their example so that we can be heroes to other people. Amen. And now let's join together in our school prayer. Dear God, we thank you for our school family. Help us grow together in our learning, in our friendships and in our faith. We pray through Jesus Christ, our friend and our saviour. Amen. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you're all keeping very well and staying safe. And I'll see you again this time next week. Bye.